The long-awaited unboxing of the ASUS ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED 2022 version. Let's get right into it. Now, I am super curious if there are any major differences. I already cut the tape on this one. If there are any major differences to the 2022 model versus the 2021 model. I have a 2021 model right here, just in case we need to do any direct comparisons. Um, so I'm very excited to check it out. Now, I'm not sure if the model you order will come with all of these things in the box. The one that I have here comes with this fancy backpack. Um, I don't know if you'll get that. Check the description on the product that I link up below if you're curious about what your laptop will be coming with. Also, you can check the live pricing of this laptop in that link as well. Um, so if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, links will be in the description below. Now, of course, if you make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. There's nothing in there. So we can get rid of this box. All right, let's go ahead and check out the charger block. I'm guessing this will be the same as last year. 240 watt charger block, same as it was last year. As you can see from the top cam, that will be the charger block that you bring with you to keep this beast of a laptop charged up. Now this is the i7 12700H and RTX 3080 equipped version of the laptop. Looks the same so far. Got that OLED screen for a 100% DCI-P3 and it's a Pantone validated display. Um, this thing, this thing is truly one of the best creator laptops that money can buy. Here it is, the ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED. Feels about the same weight and thickness as last year. Chassis looks the same, nice aluminum build quality. You can check the weight and thickness coming on the screen now. Of course, we'll go ahead and check out the bottom cover, see how the edges fit into the side panel. There's a little bit of edge that hangs over uh, on top of the bottom cover as it sits into the side panel. It's not a catchy edge though. They do a really good job rounding it off. Um, so you don't have to be worried about it catching at all there. So really, really good assembly. Let's do a quick tap test. Nothing rattles. It's really well assembled. A little bit of hollowness right there in the center, otherwise it sounds really good. Now, one thing you'll notice about these models is as you can see, it fingerprints pretty easily. I've got pretty oily fingers, um, so you'll see fingerprints pop up on this pretty easy. So you'll wanna keep maybe a little microfiber cloth with you, especially if you wear a rubber ring. If I rub my rubber ring on there, um, it definitely gives some uh, some of that marking as well. Um, so just be, be careful when you're using the laptop. Love the little dentins here, reminiscent of the Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G15, as well as the M16. So it kind of translates into this model. Really good stylings overall, very professional looking laptop. So go ahead and check out the ports and connectivity. We have a USB type A, your power adapter, nice large vent, HDMI, two USB type C's. And on the other side, we have our SD card slot, another USB type A, a headphone jack and our network port. So nice connectivity on this laptop. Really all you need to hook up a powerful workstation. I could even do my live streams from this laptop because I have really good internet connection. All right, now let's go ahead and open and close the lid with one hand. Not a problem there. As you notice, it's a little stiff hinge as you come back down, but you can open and close it easily with one hand. All right, now the moment of truth, something I've been very curious about with this laptop, can you click the trackpad or are we still have the manual function buttons? Oh man. Honestly, that's a little that's a little disappointing for me. I I don't love that they force you into using these click buttons here on the trackpad. I wish that this was a manual click. I also wish it was a little bit taller. It seems a little small for you know, this being the mainstay creator laptop. So I wish it was a little bit taller. I think this good placement here for the dial, but I think this could go up a nice half an inch and it would be like the perfect size trackpad. Um, let's go ahead and see if we have any changes in the sizing of the trackpad from last year to this year. 
Nope, same size trackpad from this year to last year. Um, no changes there. This is the Ryzen version. You can see it's more of a blue, and this is the Intel version. It's a bit more of a black. I don't know if they're gonna be offering the Ryzen version this year with the revised Ryzen 9 6900HX. Right now, I've only seen the i7-12700H available in the latest 2022 model. Now, one thing that I will point out is you do have the manual cutoff switch for the webcam. That's very nice, so you can know you're not getting cyber spied on. And it does open more than like 65 degrees, so it's not like you're stuck there. You get a nice opening. And so so if you're close to your laptop, you're not looking down at it at a weird angle, you can get it opened up and have a better view of it. Now, I'll be right back. This to me is one of the leading competitors for the ASUS ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 5. Now, the reason I brought this out is because one thing that I like that Lenovo does compared to ASUS is that they allow you to have a click on the trackpad, as well as the functional manual click buttons above the trackpad. So with the ASUS Pro Studio Book Pro 16, you have these buttons, which are very handy for 3D modeling. You know, so we can get that, the dark laptops are kind of hard to see. And so you can use these buttons, like the center button to move around an object in the 3D modeling software. So you can use different rotations on in your software as opposed to having to go find a tool and then click and drag and rotate, you just literally click this and then move and you can you know, steer around different objects. This laptop, the ThinkPad X1 Extreme also has it, but they allow you to click the trackpad. It's a, it's a clickable trackpad. This one's only tappable. You can't actually manually click the trackpad. And for me, I like this better. I like that you can still click the trackpad and you have the function button. So just a quick comparison there. I hope on the revised version of the Studio Book 16 for 2023, they turn this into a clickable trackpad. Now I've done full reviews on the dial. I'm gonna link those videos up for you so you can check them out. I won't continue to go over all of the ins and outs of this laptop since I've already fully reviewed it in depth in many ways. But what I will do is I'm gonna do a full review of the latest RTX 3080 and i7-12700H to see how this thing performs. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on that. Also, we're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. And if we do, we're gonna do a huge giveaway. So definitely subscribe and ring the bell. More details will be coming about the giveaway once we hit 100,000 subscribers. I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber and help us kick off that giveaway. It would be amazing and a dream come true to reach 100,000 subscribers. Now, as far as the upgrade path of this laptop, you can upgrade two RAM sticks and you can upgrade two SSD slots. There's two SSD slots on this laptop. One comes occupied, one comes unoccupied. And so the upgrade path on the ProArch StudioBook Pro 16 OLED is a good upgrade path. Now, punch for punch, I think this is one of the best laptops that money can buy for creators. Besides my annoyance with the trackpad not being clickable, Man, it's so powerful. It's got such a great, bright, crisp, color accurate screen. The dial is truly something amazing. It really is a productivity booster. I've used it a lot in my tests and I just really enjoy it. It creates a great workflow. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes if this video has brought you some value and click that subscribe button so we can reach 100,000 subscribers and kick off the giveaway. I'll see you here in the next video.